found another Elfie book. I'm not sure this is the one that's got the red shoes in. Let's have a look. These are really cool. Written by Shirley Hughes. And I've got some lovely pictures in. He's slightly higher than I've got today. Lovely pictures in. Let's see what stories we've got. Mm, weather. Journey to the North Pole. Mm. Elfie Upstream. Fox Around Town. Winter Stars. Oh, let's have Winter Stars. That's a good one, isn't it? It's not quite the right time of year, but it's a good story. Christmas was over. All the exciting parcels had been opened. You can see who I got it from, from Charity Sugar. All the exciting parcels had been opened, and the Christmas tree, which had once been so fine and covered in beautiful sparkly things, was now... I can't see me now. Was now waited to be collected by the dustman. But something else nice was going to happen. Mum and Alfie and Nanny Rose were going to visit to Grandma's house. Dad had to stop behind and go to work, but he was going to join them for the weekend. It was dark when they arrived and Grandma was at the door to welcome them. Oh, Annie's having a cuddle with Mummy, look. And there's a Christmas tree, it's all abandoned. It's sad when you get the Christmas tree down, I think. Long time till we put it up again, though. Alfie and Annie Rose. We're put to bed in the little room next to Grandma's. There was a door between which was always kept a bit open. Annie Rose had a cot in the corner and Alfie slept in the wooden bed, which had been Mum's when she was a little girl. That night, Alfie lay awake until very late. He could hear Grandma moving around in her room. She had put a nightlight by the door, which made a pattern of stars on the ceiling. Looks pretty, doesn't it? Alfie lay and looked at them until at last he dropped off to sleep. Next morning when he woke up it was dark and the stars were still on the ceiling. Mum and Annie Rose were asleep too so Alfie crept into Grandma's bed to keep her company while she had her early morning tea. They looked through Alfie's catalogue of beautiful shiny cars talking in whispers and choosing which one they would like to drive. Jake likes to look at cars and choose which one he'd like to drive as well. After breakfast, Alfie and Annie Rose looked out. Ah, sorry, let me start again. After breakfast, Alfie and Annie Rose looked out. The garden was all white with frost. The trees and bushes were just grey and misty shapes. It was too cold to play outdoors, so they stayed in the kitchen and did some cooking. Mm. Grandma was making pie for lunch and she gave Alfie a lump of pastry and showed him how to roll it on a board. He had to put a sprinkling of flour underneath it so it didn't stick. When I was younger, when I was about Alfie's age, probably from when I was about Alfie's age to when I was about Chloe's age, uh, my mum used to make a pie every Sunday and she used to give me some pastry and I would make jam tarts and little shapes. When Alfie cut it into shapes with Grandma's pastry cutters, there were star shapes and moon shapes and round shapes with crinkly edges. Alfie liked the star shapes best. When he'd laid them carefully onto a baking tray, Grandma put them into the oven to cook. Annie Rose rolled her bits into little balls and set them under the table for the teddies. I do like jam tarts. Sneakily makes them. After Grandma and Annie Rose went upstairs to take a nap, Mum and Alfie went for a walk. It was so cold, it turned both of their noses pink. My hands get orange when it's cold. There were no cows in the field. Mum said they had to live in a cow shed where it was warm. I think the cows would get very chilly, don't you? Sometimes you see sheep when it's cold, though. Puddles in the lane were iced over. But it was thin ice and you could see the water underneath. Between the water and the ice were white frosty stars. The ice cracked when Alfie stepped on it and the stars were all gone. Then it was just muddy water. So as he's, as he's standing on it, it's cracking it and making all the star shapes look. Now the sky was turning pink too. 
on their way home they saw one little shining star all by itself. Stars everywhere, said Alfie. When they got back to the back, the curtains were already drawn. Grandma and Annie Rose were getting tea ready, hot muffins and cake, and they kept Alfie's delicious pastry stars until last. They were just finishing tea when Dad arrived. We've saved you the stars, Alfie told him. Good, said Dad. So they've got their cake and their stars. Have they eaten their muffins? I think they've eaten them, I can't see them. It's like the tiger that came to tea would enjoy that, wouldn't they? He got on. So Dad's got there and they've saved the stars. Then they put on their warm coats and scarves and went outside. Now the trees stood out clear and black. You could see every branch and twig and the sky was full of stars. They all stood and gazed. You never see them like this in the city, said Dad. How many stars are there? Alfie wanted to know. Heaven knows, says Dad. There's lots of lovely stars out at the minute. It's ever so clear, isn't it? Oh, it's finished. It's all snowy. I'm snowy and cold. Okay. So that's the second Alfie book. I've still not found the one that's got the red boots in. I'm going to keep looking. See you later.